A local woman has created a website that is nationally famous in the United States and in the United Kingdom, showing the style and fashion choices of the royal family. News 10's Tania Jordan sat down with the creator of What Kate Wore to talk about its impact. If you find yourself wondering who designed Kate Middleton's dress or which fabrics were used, Susan Kelly from Okemos has a website you'll want to check out. What Kate Wore follows the Princess of Wales, formerly the Duchess of Cambridge, and we write about what charitable activities she's engaged in, we write about what appearances she makes, and then as the title might suggest, What Kate Wore, we write a lot about what she wears. Kelly is the founder and editor of the What Kate Wore website. One was used by King George IV in 1821. Using pictures from different agencies around the world, Kelly says What Kate Wore was born in 2010. And then it really took off in 2011 in April when Kate and William got married. She says it was perfect timing, more events and more photos. She looked terrific every single day. Very classic, mostly British designers and people fell in love with her. A bold piece of history or a custom made dress, Kelly says Kate speaks through what she wears. You know, she will wear, say on a foreign tour, she'll wear the colors of that country's flag or she'll have embroidery in a dress that is that country's um, national flower or something else. And during Saturday's coronation of Charles III and his wife Camilla, Kelly says she'll be working around the clock to make sure she captures each piece of historical significance. And what the optics are. You can't overstate that. Um, this is a group of people that understands the photos taken at the coronation and other events will not just be looked at next week or next year or next decade, but for the next century and time after that. A princess regarded as a fashion trendsetter. In Okemos, Tania Jordan, News 10. And you can watch the coronation of King Charles tomorrow morning right here on WILX, but you'll have to get up early. The ceremonies start at 5 o'clock in the morning.